Oh, I've, I, uh, <clears throat> I've definitely spent a lot of time talking about Apple products and, you know, products are fine. I'm not going to knock them here or whatever. But one thing that, that recently happened, which really bothered me, uh, again, not that I'm a iPhone user, but <laughs> it's just seeing what they do and, and how I'd say malicious it is uh, many, for, for many years, many years. Uh, people would claim that iPhones got slower over time. Like, oh, Apple was purposely slowing down my iPhone. People people would say that. And Apple did nothing for a while. Apple said absolutely nothing. And at some point, I forget which version of iOS was released. I think people like had like almost definitive evidence. Like, hey, this is happening. And Apple finally says, you know what? You're right. <laughs> and you've been right this whole time. But the reason we do it is because we need to slow down or throttle the phone's performance as a result of your phone's battery life not being able, or your battery not being able to maintain the charge like it used to. Uh, and if it, if we try to allow to the phone to perform uh, to its peak cap uh, capabilities, then the phone will shut off. So we have to throttle it down, and so forth and so forth. And, and that that's the reason that they they said that they were doing it. And so what's the solution? Put a new battery in the phone, and Right around that particular time, when Apple came out and said, "Oh yes, we've been we've been slowing down the phones," uh, they offered a a battery repair program. I mean, not that you could get a, you couldn't get a new battery before, but at that point they lowered the price, I believe, to thirty dollars or, or twenty nine dollars, very affordable. During that particular period of time, I myself was replacing batteries in iPhones because Apple hadn't yet locked down. It was, I believe it was around that same time. Apple had not yet locked down. Uh, the ability for a user to just replace their own battery. And I don't mean, oh, uh, having a, a back that slides on and off easily. You know, I'm talking about the fact that, yes, you have to open the battery, uh, open the phone. There's glue. You have to break the glue, heat it up, whatever. Um, I'm talking about the fact that even if you put a genuine Apple battery in there, which I was buying third-party batteries, but even if you put a genuine Apple battery in there, if it's not the battery that's paired to that motherboard, then you will get a notification saying that, Oh, we can't. Uh, the the phone can't verify that this is a genuine Apple part. And there's plenty of people online who who have showed that. I've seen it myself. Not that I've purchased um, first party Apple batteries. I've purchased third party batteries and have have gotten that 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 notification. Um, so yeah, all that to say, yeah, I you used to be able to to switch batteries yourself. Now you have to go through Apple to to get a new battery essentially. But during that particular period of time when they were were caught for doing something that they never denied doing, but never acknowledged, was a $29 battery repair program. At that point, really good price. I would I would have recommended anybody to go get a new battery for, for, for $30. But of course, that was just a promotional period. And they knew that they were caught, so they were like, all right, let's make it affordable. So $30, cool. And that went on for a while. I don't remember for exactly how long, but it went on for a while. And... Um, at some point, you know, that $30 went away. And I think even now, maybe it's like 30 bucks if you paid for Apple Care or something. Hopefully, I'll put something up on the screen right now to, to, to show what current battery repair prices are or replacement uh, prices are. But the regular price, I believe, for a non, either a non warranted or for a person who doesn't have Apple Care, I believe was $70. $70 battery replacement, in my opinion, is a bit much. You know, seventy dollars. It's like, well, it's, it's definitely cheaper than a new phone. I mean, way cheaper. Well, depending on whether or not it's cheaper, cheaper than a new phone. But seventy dollars is a bit much. And uh, I, you know, somebody who was able to at one point able to re re replace batteries myself would have been like, hey, yeah, I'll do it for you. I charge you the price of the battery. You know, it's not not that big of a deal. And usually that'd be, you know, I mean, just so you know. Ten to fifteen dollars is the cost of of a of an Apple battery. Now, I'd say in twenty twenty three dollars, even paying like forty dollars for like a genuine Apple battery, I'd say is is acceptable. If if you had the option to do that, forty bucks, cool. even fifty dollars for a genuine Apple battery, I'd probably say okay, fifty dollars, cool. But seventy dollars, even in twenty twenty prices, twenty twenty one prices, twenty twenty two prices, twenty twenty three prices, seventy dollars, I think, is a bit much. And since I think $70 is, is, is a bit much, Apple went and raised those prices by $20. So now $90. And I think what really, two things anger me about this. One, of course, being the price.
But two, the caveat of, well, this battery price increase is only for non-warrantied warranted phones. And I think if you just, you know, if you think about that just for a moment, if we just look at the, the landscape of iPhones right now, ones that are currently out in the wild, I would confidently say that the majority of iPhones are no longer warranty. Ones that are currently active. I mean, obviously, if we talk about iPhones ever made, yes. But just iPhones that are currently active, I'd say the majority of them are not warrantied so or, or still under warranty. So to make a statement like that, as, as if that's like a bonus, it's like, oh, yeah, well, for those of you who just bought an iPhone 14 or probably maybe still have an iPhone 13, yeah, I don't know exactly how long Apple warranties last, uh, or for people who aren't paying for Apple Care, which I don't know if that's a thing you can pay for forever. I don't know if it would be worth it if you paid for it forever. I don't know if it's like the first three. I, I don't know how Apple Care works, but I know you have, pay, you have to pay more money to get it and then still pay more money usually when something goes wrong. So to, but to make a statement of it, it's only for for phones that aren't warrantied, I'd say, well, that's for the majority of phones. So why even include this? I mean, yes, you need to say that, <laughs> but you're, you're, you're using it as if I think I feel like they're saying it as if it's like it's a perk. So, yeah, again, for that small percentage of, of active iPhones that are still under warranty, it's, I guess, still $70 or maybe free or 30 bucks. I, again, hopefully I will have stuff posted on the screen right now to, 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 to show you. The last time I looked for battery prices online, I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to find them the way that I used to be able to. Like I had to, whether it was put in like a serial number or an IMEI or, or I think schedule an appointment. Some I had to do something that was preventing me from going to, the, to the, a screen that just posted all the battery prices. So hopefully I will have already posted them or will be posting them on the screen right now. Excuse me, got a little bit of gas. But all that to say, um, Really, really bothers me that they raised the prices to ninety dollars. I mean, almost a hundred dollars to, to swap out a battery. I mean, at this point, clearly they're just saying, "What are other ways that we can continue to make money off of people?" And I would say, furthermore, for those phones that aren't warranted, I mean, there's a, there's a good chance that you might be paying for some Apple service. Uh, but you, for people who aren't at that point, if you aren't, you know, making and app purchases. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of other ways that you could still be giving Apple money, but if we're looking just at the phone, not at the app's app store, Apple isn't making any more money off of you. So they're like, all right, how can we continue making money off of people who have three, four, five-year-old phones? Yeah, we'll just uh, assume that at some point they'll get their battery replaced. And for those millions of active phones that are still out in the wild that uh, are, aren't warranted, let's just raise the price 20 bucks. Boom. All right, cool. Check that box. Got a little, little more revenue coming in. And um, yeah, it's really unfortunate. So uh, all that to say, talked about the products before in, in different videos. Kind of sucks that um, battery replacement, battery replacement, battery replacement, kind of sucks that battery replacement prices are going up. Um, also, with the potential for there to be a portless iPhone coming sometime in the future, if battery prices for replacing batteries if, if prices for replace for how why am I having a hard time saying this? If battery prices for replacing batteries go up, that's not what I want to say. If if prices for replacing batteries continue to go up, from everything that I remember seeing online, one um, wireless charging is you know, less efficient. Two, I don't know if it does anything to the battery in terms of overall health, but if it did. Uh, it would suck that you have to go through Apple to then replace the battery. You're then charging it using a less efficient way that potentially, potentially, I don't know, don't quote me, but potentially uh, it's harmful, more harmful to the battery than just, you know, regularly charging it through a cable. Uh, and then the prices go up. And it, so it's just, it's, you know, just a bunch of, you know, slaps in the faces, knives in the back, you know, whatever you want to call it that Apple does to their, their customers and other, other companies do it. But I feel like Apple is just, frequently on display doing it and it's um it's frustrating <laughs> even as a as it currently yeah, I, I've, I've got rid of my 14 inch macbook pro i got rid of my iphone 12 mini the only apple products i currently have are an, uh, an ipad air and a ipad i, I <laughs> the only only products that i have are a macbook air m1 and then uh an ipad mini that i purchased from my roommate um but yeah it's, it's I try not to give Apple any money. And so far, I think I've done a pretty good job. Um, these, of course, were, were used products. 
I had my free Apple TV subscription that I canceled before they billed me. Um, I mean, I did buy my mom a new iPhone, but you know, that's that's mom. <laughs> um, so that that, 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 that that's it. Uh, all that to say, it sucks that they're that they're needlessly raising prices for the majority of iPhone users, since the majority of iPhones that are out in the wild. With me doing no research, I can imagine the majority of iPhones in the wild are no longer under warranty. Ninety dollars for a battery re re replacement. I don't think it's worth it, but it's cheaper than a new phone. So you live with what you got. So I <clears throat> actually just finished rewatching the video that you just finished watching talking about this. And I think the, the, the price hike is definitely one issue. But the bigger issue, in my opinion, is the fact that if you have this particular product, the iPhone, not only are you having to now pay more for a battery replacement, you only have one choice in terms of where you can go to get that battery re replaced. So think about this. All of the batteries that you currently have in your house or in your car or whatever, in your, that, that, that are, are in products that you or a friend or a family member owns. Right now, I'm using a camera, a Sony camera. There's a battery in there. I would hate to have to go through Sony and Sony only to be allowed for them to open the camera, take the battery out, put a new battery in, and give, give me my device back. I haven't needed to replace the battery on this because uh, I just got the camera, you know, not too long ago. But for the most part, I can imagine that there are third-party batteries out there that should work for this camera that should, should be f perfectly fine. Laptops that I have, I don't have to go and get a genuine OEM battery, but you know, of course I probably would for some of the machines that I have, but I don't have to. Thinking about your TV remote, you can just pop those batteries out, throw them, well, you shouldn't throw them away, but you can pop them out and go you know, get some new batteries from, from Walmart, Walgreens, whatever. You don't have to go through your TV manufacturer to get new batteries. There's a smoke detector right there. I, whoever made it, yeah, it's right there. Whoever made it. I need a, uh, I'll have to put a new nine volt battery in there. I don't have to go through the manufacturer to get a new battery. For something as big as a car battery, I don't have to go through Honda to get a new battery. I can go to AutoZone, Advanced Auto, Walmart, whoever, and go get a battery. There's no reason that you should have to go through Apple to get a new battery for your iPhone. They will preach, preach, preach about safety, safety, safety. But why, why is it not a safety concern with other devices in the same industry, so other smartphones? And of course, why is it not a safety concern with devices that aren't in the cell phone, uh, the, 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 the cell phone market? So it's just a bunch of BS. Of course, it's a way for them just to make more money off of you. And it's unfortunate. So most people are going to end up paying the additional fee. I included a little marquee in there that the uh, price hike goes up at the end of February. And it's essentially for all phones that aren't iPhone 14s. So makes sense. <laughs> and I, it's interesting. So I wonder, even though it says all phones that aren't iPhone 14, what if you purchase uh, uh, an iPhone 13 or even a 12 right now or an SE? Because all of those are still available for purchase uh, brand new from Apple on the site. So are they going to exclude the option to keep, I guess, whatever the same price is, even if you've purchased those phones brand new within the last year or however their their warrantied um, program works. So it seems pretty fishy. Um, if you're interested, I'd, I'd advise that you go to, to Apple's website to take a look at some of um, the prices. They've definitely updated the, the website. I'm looking at it right now and it's get an estimate for the battery based on, you know, the model of phone that you have. And of course that lets you know that taxes uh, aren't included in what you're seeing. And then if you ship it back to them, you will be charged for shipping, which even that's kind of a slap in the face because if you buy a brand new phone, shipping is free. I think you have the option to pay for expedited shipping, but it's like, well, you're already charging me to replace the battery, which Okay, it's already too much. And now you charge me to, to ship it, and then I don't know. Is it two way shipping? No, we're going to charge you for both ways. I don't know. But it's all a big scam. It's unfortunate that, that they're doing it, and of course, they're going to get away with it. So think about that next time you have to change a battery in any device that you own. Hmm, I don't have to go through Sony to do this. I don't have to go through Samsung to do this. I don't have to go through Honda to do this. I don't have to go through Dell to do this. I, you know, a, a, a bunch of a, a bunch of options. So, uh, 
interesting stuff, I'd say, but it's unfortunate that, that it's happening.